at the center of a black hole lies the singularity, a point where the laws of physics as we currently understand them break down. In classical general relativity, the singularity is a point of infinite density and zero volume, where the curvature of space-time becomes infinite. This means that the gravitational also infinite, and all the matter that falls into the black hole is crushed into this single point. However, the concept of a singularity presents a significant challenge to our understanding of physics, as it suggests the existence of a point where our current theories can't accurately describe the behavior of matter and energy. The singularity also gives rise to one of the most perplexing problems in modern physics, the information paradox. According to the laws of quantum mechanics, information about the physical state of a system cannot be destroyed. However, when matter falls into a black hole, it seems to disappear from the observable universe, taking its information with it. This presents a paradox, as the information appears to be lost forever once it crosses the event horizon and reaches the singularity. The information paradox has been a topic of intense debate and research among physicists for decades. Some theories suggest that the information is somehow preserved at the event horizon or encoded radiation emitted by the black hole as it slowly evaporates through a process known as Hawking radiation. Others propose that the information is stored in a firewall at the event horizon, while more radical ideas suggest that black holes might be connected to other regions of space-time through wormholes or other exotic structures. Despite these efforts, the information paradox remains an unsolved mystery, highlighting the limitations of our current understanding of both quantum mechanics and general relativity. Understanding black holes is not just about solving abstract theoretical puzzles. It also holds the key to uncovering deeper mysteries of the universe. Black holes represent the ultimate test of general relativity. Einstein's theory of gravity, which has been extremely successful in describing the behavior of large-scale cosmic structures. However, black holes also challenge our understanding of quantum mechanics. The theory that governs the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. Reconciling these two of modern physics is one of the most significant challenges in contemporary science, and black holes may provide the crucial insights that are needed to achieve this goal. The study of black holes could lead to the development of a theory of quantum gravity, a framework that unites general relativity and quantum mechanics into a single such a theory would not only deepen our understanding of black holes, but also shed light on the origins of the universe, the nature of space and time, and the fundamental forces that govern the cosmos. Now, what would happen if you were to approach a black hole? As you draw closer to the event horizon, you would begin to experience a Just 
black hole. As you cross the event horizon, the point of no return, you would be cut off from the rest of the universe. No signal, no information could escape from within the event horizon to reach the outside world. Your fate would be sealed as you would be drawn toward the singularity at the center of the black hole. But before reaching the singularity, you would encounter one of the most famous terrifying effects associated with black holes, spaghettification. This term describes the process by which an object is stretched and elongated by the extreme tidal forces near a black hole. As you approach the black hole, the gravitational pull on the part of your body closest to the black hole would be significantly stronger than the pull on the part of the body farther away. This difference in gravitational force, known as tidal force, would stretch you out into a long, thin shape, much like a uh, piece of spaghetti. For smaller black holes, the tidal forces near the event horizon are so strong that spaghettification would occur before you even cross the event horizon. In this scenario, you'd be torn apart by these forces long before you reach the singularity. However, for supermassive black holes, the event horizon is much farther from the singularity and the tidal forces near the event horizon are relatively weak. This means that you could, in theory, cross the event horizon without experiencing spaghettification, only to be stretched out and torn apart as you get closer to the singularity itself. The precise point at which spaghettification occurs depends on the size and mass of the black hole. For a stellar mass black hole with a mass several times that of our sun, spaghettification would occur well before you reach the event horizon. For a supermassive black hole with a mass millions or billions of times that of the sun, you could, again, get much closer to that event horizon before those tidal forces become strong enough to cause spaghettification. So as we contemplate the nature of black holes, we're reminded of the mysteries that still lie at the heart of our understanding of the universe. Black holes challenge our assumptions about space, time, and the very nature of reality itself. They force us to confront the limitations of our current us to explore new frontiers of knowledge. The study of black holes is not just an intellectual pursuit. It's a journey into the unknown, a quest to unlock the deepest mysteries of the 